Hello and welcome to On Print Shop. In this video, we will go through what is a range, uh, what is a product, or how to create a product with range-based price defining method. So let us see what we are going to see in this video. What we'll see what is range-based with multiplication price method. How to create a range-based multiplication uh, product and uh, what is the other option that is range based without multiplication price refining method how we will create that product and how to restrict the customer to enter the quantities that you don't want to allow them so let's get down into it Now let us add a new product using the range base with multiplication price refining method. So for that you have to go to products inside the products and let me go and click on add. When you click on add you have to remember what kind of product you are creating. Now range base of multiplication is used for those products for example which are uh, such as posters or flyers or if you are using range base without multiplication then the flyers and the brochures are the ideal product for which you should use this price different method and for range base with multiplication all these options all these uh, products are used so <clears throat> when you create a product for such as posters flyers or brochures or photos then range base with multiplication uh, price defining method will be added now. Let us first understand how it is going to work. For example, if you set a range starting from 1 to 10 and the quantity here in this method, the price is defined uh, per on the basis of per quantity. Here in this method, the price is defined based on the per quantity. Now, per quantity depends on the range that you have set. For example, if you set the range starting from 1 to 10 and you decide to uh, take the price per quantity as $9. Okay, so the customer if comes in on and places quantity 1, so he will be charged $9. Now, suppose if the customer enters 5 quantity then he will be charged 45 that means here you are multiplying this option quantity is multiplied with the per piece rate that you have set in the packet ok now suppose if the rate, customer is entering a quantity which is going out of this range so it will land either in any of this range so suppose if the range is entering if the customer is entering 12 so it will fall in this range and for this range you have set the price as 7 so when the customer is entering this he will be entered he will be priced as 84 so here it is multiplied with this okay so now if the country customer is entering 210 then it will be charged this one so here once again you are setting the range and you are setting a price for per piece per quantity per single quantity and the products which are ideal for those are posters photos maybe flyers also and brochures now let us understand range base without multiplication now range base without multiplication are best suited for flyers and brochures or some that kind of a product here you are not multiplying for quantity here you are setting the price for range as for the range for example if you set a range of flyers that from 1 to 5000 flyers you will be charging 1000 not less than that if the customer is entering any quantity or is willing to buy or purchase or print any quantity above 5000 that means either if he is entering 
501 5001 then he will be charged 1600 but if he is entering 4999 if he is willing to print this much of quantity then you are charging this much now the difference could be the plate that you may be using so that could be the reason and <coughs> could be any reason but here this is what you can set range based without multiplication means you are not multiplying per quantity you are charging on the range if the range is setting in this then you will charge this much if the range is or if the customer's quantity is falling in this range then you will be charging this much and so on and so forth so now let us go and create a new product over here Post to name. I'll select the type of the product is standard. Okay, category. I'll place it in marketing material. Okay, associated category. Now I'll select the price defining matter from here. As I explained in here, there are two main uh, price defining method we are discussing in this video. So we will go and select first the range base with multiplication. Put this status on and we will directly click on save and continue. Let us go and upload the image. not entering any description or something like that I will just click on save and continue rest of the options I hope you are understanding so I'll just click on save and continue and the poster is around six sorry so the width is eight point five I'm putting it Now since I have selected the price defining method as range based with multiplication, here it will ask starting from and ending from quantity. So the starting quantity and the ending quantity, that means you are setting the range over here. So I will be entering from 500 to. From 50 to 100 I'll charge as per piece uh, we are charging per piece so what I'm charging going to charge for this quantity let us start with quantity 1 to 10 as 9 at the price 11 to 20 at 7 dollar and from 21 to 50 at 5 dollars we can say then continue now 
now here I am not going to enter any additional options I will just go on the from store and check how it will look so here is my poster new product is created and here you see the quantity is starting from 1 and the price is $9 now here you can your customers will be able to see what charges you are taking per range so if the customer is entering any quantity between this range will be charged nine dollar poppies if the customer is entering the quantity which is landing in this range then he will be charged seven so as the range increases so as the quantity increases the price per quantity decreases so here you go if the customer is entering eight it will be charged nine poppies you can tell the customer is entering 20 so it will be charged 7 rupees so here the unit price is 7 if he is entering 8 the unit price is 9 if he is entering 34 the unit price is 5 so this way you are notifying to your customers that this is the price per unit over here as well as over here ok now the best uh, product as I explained would be posters and all those now let us go and check if the customer is entering any quantity above this 55 then what the same price you need okay the price unit goes in 275 whatever quantity enters the unit price will be this much now we want to restrict the customer from entering the quantity range that you have applied that means you don't print anything below this so let us create or let us change the pricing you can go in here go to pricing from the admin side now you don't print anything below 5 and you don't print anything above 50 so for that what you have to do you can save first so the pricing will be saved and you don't want the customer to enter any quantity below 4 so for that you have to go to setting and tick this option enable this option click on save and now if you go on to the front store refresh the page and you see you have restricted the customer from entering the quantity and the quantity is starting from 5 if you enter 4 your customers enter 4 then it will display this message if the customer is entering 51 then again it is it will display this message so here how you can restrict the quant uh, user to entering any quantity above and below so here for that you have to go to settings and restrict the user quantity so this way you can create a product with this matter now let us change the same product with the other price defining method let us go in here and click on range uh, price defining method and change the method now we will be doing it for range base without multiplication and let's see what happens click on save and continue now here I'm keeping everything same and I'll go and change the price change the pricing now here I have to enter the price of a range not for the fix so I'll enter 100 I'll enter 150 and anything beyond is 
with us. So this is what my range is. And I'm starting from 500 to 1000. From 50 to 1000. And 1001 to 2500. And from 2500 and 1. So this way, if I am charging for the poster, 50 posters minimum and 5000 posters maximum, and the charge would be this one. Okay, you can say. So now, go and refresh the page. Minimum 50, maximum this much. Now here the price defining method is 50 to 1000 you charge 100, 1001 to 2005 you charge 150. So if the customer is entering any quantity 51 then also he is charged 100 if he is entering 1000 then also he is charged 100 only. So, but if the customer is entering 1001, then he will be charged 150. Again, the restriction is there for 5. If he is entering the invalid quantity massive will appear, and if he is entering more than 5000, and also this massive will appear. So, for restricting the user quantity it will display from here from the settings of the product and rest user quantity so this is how a range based without multiplication box here also it is displayed and here also it is unit price will be displayed so thank you if you have uh, and queries or concerns is that is more and this is how the range base with multiplication and range base without multiplication products uh, uh, works so if you let this so this is how you can create a product for range base with multiplication and range base without multiplication and the products that are you that are uh, ideal for this kind of price refunding method are posters flyers brochures etc and right thank you for watching this video see you in the next video have a nice time take care bye bye